How's it gaming? I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime Remastered. We are in the down frigate, the crash site. It's really spooky in here. It's also great though, because this is an energy tank. Hooray, right, right off the bat. There's actually two energy tanks in this area, which is really great. We're actually getting close to getting full life, which is really, really neat. And here we got this crazy climb up here. But one of the things we want to do is to make sure we're not missing any. There we go. I knew it. I knew it. I don't want to miss them. Gotta hit these. This is pretty much every room in this place. There's no power, so you gotta make sure you hit those. You also want to be careful of these creepy tentacles. My goodness. No thank you. No thank you indeed. Take you up too. Why not? Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Oh, not reaching this though. Oh, I did. Okay. And up there. And... I miss one. Oh, it's down there. Can I hit that from here? Oh, I did. Nice. Oh, that's great. So I don't know why this reminds me of Mario 64. Ooh, that doesn't. I mean the climb, for some reason. It's that one part of Jolly Roger Bay. It's always felt like that to me. You go to the top, and you'll see, yep, you did not unlock the door. But see here which ones you're kind of missing. You got the first two. The other one is just, uh, usually it's just right around the corner, right near you. There you go. Easy enough. Easy enough. So I still don't think we're actually going to reach the, um, the next actual power-up. Uh, it's still quite a ways from it. Ooh, we got some more of that phase on kind of residue here. Hmm. Spooky. Oh, enemies. We're actually going to fight some things now. We take three hits now? Or no, still two hits. Okay. I know sometimes the, uh, the security cameras start getting a little bit stronger and more, uh, more defensive. Oh. Can't do anything. There we go. I knew it. Almost every room, so you want to check it out. There we go. Um, this thing over here as well. You gotta get the right side of it. There we go. Oh, that didn't hurt. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's jump down. Probably something in here to take care of. Yes. Oh, geez, what are you? I don't like you. Four missiles, it's definitely not good. Let's uh, see if we can take it out with the wave beam a little bit. There we go, one big shot. It makes them like spaz out a little bit, so that definitely helps. There we go. Uh, where is the last shot? There you are. Come on, right in there. But before we keep going, I think there's something here. Take a look around. It's in one of these. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Uh, Cordite. Okay, so that means a nice super missile. But wasting five missiles to get five more missiles. Hooray. Not bad. It's pretty much just uh, two energy tanks and that missile container, so it doesn't take too long to get through this area. Thankfully, get these guys out. Oh, you know what? There's, is there uh Oh no, I can just, just I don't need to find the uh, battery things or the electric charges. Probably here I do though. Yes, I do. There's also enemies as we can see there. Get you. These are a lot slower underwater. It's no problem to me. Your shots also move a lot slower too. Who's three? Oh jeez. If I really want to be a jerk, I could just I could just do this. Oh, why does this keep going up there? Oof, I waste a lot by doing that. Well, might as well take this guy out with just some regular ones. Get out of the way. There we go. You gonna blow up? Thank you. Just the three. Yes. Thank you, cinematic camera. Thanks for showing me the way. Go here. Yeah, it really I think this is actually like the very similar layout to the actual frigate level. Like I this looks like that area. So pretty cool job. I mean obviously they had to probably redo this entire map from hand. It's not like they just like copied it over and just made a couple changes. Like, no, it's 
probably very, very different. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Come away, guys. You bother me. Okay, there we go. Oof. Oh! You okay? <laughs> space pirate. He dead. Really? Doing the whole space... I thought it would just be like, oh, he died because of this. Like in the tutorial, but... Down we go, I guess. Jump! It's gonna be another one where I have to look around, though, I bet. So I better be careful. Oh, yep, I saw one of them. Thought I did. Oh, no, it's just fishies. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Neat. Just keep going, I guess. All blocked off, nothing to do really here. In Morph Ball area. It's fun here because, uh, you know, there's it's water, so we We go pretty high. And here's some good timing necessary to do this. Ooh, got it. Ooh, didn't get that though. Nope, not even close. Ah, messed up twice. Damn. There we go. And energy tank. Awesome. That is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine energy tanks. That's fantastic. We're missing five more. It's okay with me. And we're out of the ship. Goodbye, ship. That was a lot of fun. Now we're still in the Talon Overworld. You can open up. Okay, fine, be that way. Not really anything else to do kind of here. If you remember way back when we got the Ice Beam, not really way back, but when we got the Ice Beam. Can I open up either? Okay. Uh, there was two elevators uh, to uh, the Talon Overworld that we could have gotten. We went with one of them. Uh, if you went with the other one, you'd be in this room as well, but you'd be behind kind of a locked door and you wouldn't be able to get out. So, am I even going the right way? Yeah, you, you'd, you'd be at the very top here, but even though it looks like one big room, it might as well be two rooms. I wonder if I can actually see it. We can uh, take a look right quick. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, there you go. You kind of see it right there. There's like a, it's like a gate right there. Like it's, it's really weird, but yeah, you can't really do much. Die, please. But on this side, you can open it up. So I might as well do that now. That way, it's easier for me to get around places. But yeah, you'd basically be stuck right here. Uh, yeah, I think this just goes right back to. There's not really a reason for me to be here, though, right now, so let's head back. Actually, there is stuff to do, but right now, we've got something to do. We've got, we got, we got a main thing to do, so let's head back down. Where's the door? There's the door. Here. Ooh, we see our, yeah, intense radiation detected. You can hear it, too. My little gauge there is being like, this is dangerous. I think there's something underneath there I can get. I don't want to risk it because this stuff is extremely deadly. I'm actually not sure if there is. If we ever come back, maybe if I have more life or something, we can go underneath and explore a little bit, but I'm too scared to do it. Don't hit me, that's mean. Not that. And here we go. Let's head into the ra la last regular area of the game. And it is dangerous. It is a dangerous place to be, my friends. All right, the phase on mines. First, it's just like, all right, whatever. It's not really that big a deal. Just another kind of interior place, but it's really not. Here we go. Kind of weird industrial area like this looks super weird and neat. Tim's like, well, crap, here we go. And the space part's just up there doing their work too. So there's a lot going on here, so. Actually, let's. Hmm. There's gonna be enemies on me in like two seconds. Yeah, I hear things. What's targeting me? There we go. Ooh, these take three now? Yeah, these take three now. Great. Okay, damn. 
but I'm gonna get hit. Also, probably doing a lot more damage to me, too. Okay. So, what can we do? It's where I, would, I need to go. Secondary force field control disabled. And is that the first one? Primary. Awesome, now we can get in there. But, let's explore a little bit. There's also a save point here, which we want to do after we clear this room up a little bit. Did you guys notice me yet? You guys not see me? I blew up your friggin' machine gun drones, turrets. There you go, now you see me. I saw one of you down here. Damn. Fell off. Ugh. This is another part just like when we got to the um, the research lab where it's very combat heavy. And I think obviously a lot more dangerous than what we've already done. the crap out of me. Am I getting up there? Jumping? Is it just jumping? Yeah, it's okay. Might be one more guy. Oh, no, guess not. Wow, thanks for showing me the controls. <laughs> I guess I needed to kill everyone before this activated or something, but go in there. And now I'll move this crane, which clearly has a spider ball track. Thank you. Easy to use controls. Apparently, in the future, you just need to look at stuff and everything's compatible with every other technology. So, just scanning things works. Uh, where do I... Morph ball here. Right there. Up we go. And cross the crane. I love this. Really cute. Attack. All right, cool. Now let's go and save. Woo! Fell all the way down instead. But no, I definitely want to save before we continue. Which is this spider ball track right over here. And it's not there. That's fire. It's over here. I just remember in the GameCube days, this being the save point that would frustrate me the most because I would die a lot in this area. And this would be the last save point, so it can be a little frustrating. So I think uh, this will be one of those episodes where I have to save, or not save, but end the episode kind of randomly in an area, because it's going to be a while since we hit, until we hit a save point. Let's pace it up. I'm sure I want to wave beam back, though, for this. Be a little cheap here, but get a nice shot in. I want to use all my missiles right away. Gonna need them. Gonna need them. Thank you. Oh yeah, I guess I could have turned it off right here too. I always forget about that. Some, some of the uh, turrets can just be straight turned off. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're getting some shadowy guys. Oh, spooky. But thankfully, one charge wave beam shot will stop them in their tracks, and then one missile will take them out. It's hard to kind of see them. Uh, some of them can go invisible, too, so if you need to use the thermal visor, go for it. Not the worst idea in the world. Yes, please. Thank you. Nice and full. Just about. Charge. You never know what's going up here. The more you here. So we're going to see a new type of pirate. I don't know what they're called. Let's actually scan one really quick. Even though that's probably going to be dangerous. They have these weird faces, weird armor. I think they're like shadow pirates? Come on. There we go. Wave trooper. Okay, space pirate armed with wave beam technology. Basically, uh, when you see colored, uh, like, space pirates that you need to match their color. So basically, you need to take them out with the wave beam. Even my missiles weren't doing anything there, so... Probably use the, uh... The, uh... What is it called? The wave buster or whatever? That is a huge waste. If there's only, like, one or two, this isn't too bad, because you can see you can just 
repeatedly stun them with a charge wave shot. So it's definitely not too hard, but... Memoria, okay. though. Just pay attention to the color. Yellow means charge beam. Blue, or sorry, white means ice beam. Purple means wave beam. And there's one more beam that we haven't got yet. We can still hear that, uh... The phase on crackling right there. It's pretty neat. Even though, um, I guess it can't actually hurt you because my, my like, danger meter on the left there isn't going up. So I guess it's just kind of for show. But if you even were able to hit that, it wouldn't actually hurt you. I guess. Ooh, geez. Because these guys are the shadow ones, I assume, because they went invisible. So, geez, get them away, man. So I can shoot them with anything I want. They can be invisible, but it's not fun. Jeez, man. The lock-on definitely makes weird things happen with the uh, the camera sometimes when like enemies are really close trying to melee you, but whatever. Where am I going now? Oh, hello. Probably gonna be uh, some turrets up here if I could just jump through those, jeez. No, I guess not. Oh, hello! Hopefully they don't even notice me. Take them out fast. These rooms can get really difficult because they're big rooms and you never know where people are shooting at you. Probably near the top. Maybe not. Alright. Well, that's cool. What do you do? Uh, initial project Helix. Experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed, uh, termed elite pirates lived to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing everything within the uh, anything within the zone of perception. Research team Sclera made a recent breakthrough in which parasite studies with a phazon strain code named Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully fused Vertigo phazon with base pirate DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached mature success maturity successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Oh, that's, um, probably not good. Actually, is that you? Unit, uh, ident code, blah, 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 batch 23, field designates, elite pirate alpha. Oh, jeez. Whoa, look at that. It's, like, creepy. <laughs> All right, what do I want to do now? I'm in this room. Blowing stuff up. You guys don't do anything, do you? Yeah, just tell me about stuff. But not really lore, so I'm gonna skip. Oh, there we go. Platform system, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Perfect. Where were the plot? There we go. Gonna charge up, because it's pretty sure there's more enemies here. Yeah, they're there. Just hanging around, doing nothing. Ah, they put up their damn shields. Okay, well, let's go around then, I guess. Jerks. Uh, right, those are wave troopers. I have to take them out with the wave wave. Okay. It's right there. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Stock up. I'm doing okay for missiles. It's like, almost 100. I can't really complain here. Another platform thing. Security alert all stations. Is there any more of that? Yeah. Bioform Samus Aaron, that's me, has made Planet Fall in Talon 4. The Hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron, uh, Aaron on site. Terminal force is authorized. Well, duh. Report all sightings of Aaron to security command at once. I love how they, like, like talk about me. It's just neat to know that I'm such a deadly force to them. Uh, platform system active. Woo! More platform systems. Super fun. Let that take out that little shield? Do I have to... Yes, I do. It does, I mean. I mean more of you up there. I know there is. How do you guys not hear that there clearly was destruction down here? Unless there's no one up here. Oh, there you are. Oh, no, I have to take you out with the power. But I can take you out with regular missile. Oh, I can't? Probably super missile. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. Here we got some fun. Hello, gigantic cannon. You are gonna... Oh, oh that's just a... You can boost this. So we want to boost a little bit. That changes where he's looking. Uh, let me get, let me out. There you go. 
And then if I scan this over here. Industrial Pulse Beam Online, auto firing mode engaged. Bam! Very cool, very fun. You can see the rest of the areas can be destroyed too. So we're gonna want to turn this around. Turn around. Gonna blow up things in the wall. I don't know. The sound of that song. Uh, one more? I think that's it. Do I have to do this again or just shoot automatically? Boom! Hello, missile tank. I appreciate you. Hope you know that. I appreciate you, missile tank. Let's move on. Pretty cool area, though. I do like it. Oof. Well, we have a spider ball trap. Oh, God, I did not mean to fall there. Well, that was some damage. <laughs> At least I can go back up there if I need to. Too many enemies here. Big room. Means enemies. There you are. Oh, jeez, you're right close. Can I have more of you? Okay, so here we got this weird, what do they call it? Ore processing. This is a place you'll visit a lot. It's got a bunch of spider ball tracks, all color-coded. And you need to kind of line them up to climb. So my question right now for myself is where I want to go. It looks like the next floor is this blue one there. So that's pretty easy. Climb in here. And you have a little hologram version right there, which is very nice. Okay. And now we'll try that out, see if that works. Climb up the blue. It connects. And there we go. Oh, and now we can do the next one. And that is red. Oh, geez. Don't jump off the thing, Phil. Okay, so get... So each section can be controlled separately, basically. So now the red exit is connected with the red part of the tower. Now I want to jump back down. Whee! And then connect the red at the bottom with the red in the middle. It's not like it's difficult. It's just, you know, it's a thing. And again, you can use that little hologram. It makes a big difference. It makes it a lot faster. That should be it. Do the other side here. I'm just about ready to call it a day. There we go. Oh, that's a that's nothing. Someone's here. I heard something. Oh, there you are. If he's stupid enough to stay over there and not actually come get me, that's his own damn fault. down here again. Another one of these. Oof. Uh, can I take them out? Yeah, of course I can. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> well, still took them out. I was out of the last one. I can't even aim that high. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Where are we? Find a good place to stop. Actually, this might be it. What is this? Phase on mine's level two. Well, you know what? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll, we'll stop it right here. We are getting deeper into these mines, and uh, hopefully we'll find our next actual upgrade soon. It's been a while, but there we go. I'm filling the blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.